You know, I think everyone in life is going to face terrible loss and terrible challenge. Everyone, every single one of us, no one's immune, no matter how much money you've got, no matter what sort of person you are, whether you're a good person, whether you're a philanthropist, whether you're, um, no matter, you're going to suffer. We'll all suffer. And <clears throat> my mom suffered, my dad suffered. I saw it. My mom uh, grew up on the island of Malta during the Second World War. It was the most heavily bombed place in the history of the world. She endured 3,400 air raids <clears throat> in the Second World War by the Nazis and the, and the Italians. Um, two direct hits, house exploded on them twice. And ultimately, they had to be evacuated and they ended up in South Africa. My father as well, my father was a very optimistic guy, had this amazing life force. Hawaiians call it mana. My father was one of South Africa's best swimmers, loved the ocean, was a lifesaver, an amateur lifesaver, and um, volunteered for the Second World War, had been a great swimmer when he was very young, uh, he'd broken some South African records, and like super stoked, loved his amateur swimming career, volunteered for the war, came back, and he was getting ready for the Olympics. The Olympics were in 1948. This was in 1946, just after the war. And he was out on a little surfboard. They used to surf these little wooden surfboards. And out of nowhere, this shark came up underneath him and hit him. It hit him so hard, nearly bit his arm off in one bite. And that was his swimming career, done, finished. You know, he nearly, uh, nearly died in the attack. They had to rush him, pulled him out of the water, rushed him to the local hospital. Luckily, they were at a hospital right there on the beach. Um, where, where I grew up. So I wasn't, born, I wasn't born yet when he had this attack. But he had, to, he had to learn how to deal with life now that his dream had evaporated. He was never going to go to the Olympics. He did go to the Olympics to watch, but he was never go, going to go to the Olympics as a swimmer. He was never going to win an Olympic medal. Um, but he never looked over his shoulder. He always had this amazing optimism for life. He, he loved the ocean. I mean, my earliest memories of my dad take me down to the water, teaching me how to swim 200 yards away from where he'd been hit and his life had been changed. And there's this wonderful expression that, that, that the Hawaiians use, and I use it in my first book. You know, I'll never turn my back on the ocean. And my father really epitomized that. He could have just walked away after the attack and that was it. But he never did. But he told me about the dangers you know, because I'll never turn my back on the ocean it operates on a number of levels. One, you've got to just be aware of the dangers, and two is that don't walk away from your passion. So they were both, to me, living examples of how you could lead your life even though you've suffered and you've been through a tragic period. And then I lost my beautiful son, 15 and a half years old. My wife and I were destroyed in 2006. <clears throat> Our lives were shattered. And it took many years, but slowly we, we re rebuilt the pieces. And surfing certainly helped me uh, you know, rebuild the pieces. It took a while before you know, my stoke was burning again, because it was extinguished after that. I had no, no desire to go surfing, and ultimately I did, I did go surfing. Um, and it helped me through, through those terrible times. So I do these projects and speak and write for a few reasons. One is to give back what surfing has given me. <clears throat> also, I think to keep the spirit of my beautiful son alive as well. My boy made a terrible mistake. One mistake, and, and, and I tell children that, tell young people, man, life, it's short. And it's easy to take the wrong path. So surfing's given me this gift. I love to give it back. I love to keep the spirit of my boy. Um, I love to keep the spirit of my boy uh, alive. And um, I think it just feels good to me in my heart to do it. This makes me feel better. <laughs> Hi, my name's Sean Thompson, and you're watching the Surf Channel.
What's up, 